right, so here he is with much fanfare, the number one lightweight contender challenging for UFC gold here tonight. Hay is in the barn. He feels like he has put in all the requisite work to realize the dream here tonight. He's been working so hard. When you watch the videos, you can see a guy that will not accept anything less than being super prepared for the biggest opportunity of his career. He has worked diligently. He has trained hard. He has brought in training partners. He's done everything. Now it's all about going out there and executing. He said he feels he's ready to do that and become the UFC champion. But it must be stated in this division with all of the contenders, oftentimes you only get one crack. We'll see what he can do with it. Well, you can argue this is the single hardest belt in the UFC to defend. The UFC's lightweight division has long been a murderer's row, and this champion's latest challenger looks like he could come through and upset the apricot. We were talking to him the other day, and I asked him about the fight. He goes, DC, nothing surprises me, because every time I go in there, I fight the toughest, scariest opponent. I understand my opponent's good, but I'm the champion for a reason, and I intend for it to stay that way. Seemed like he had a great training camp, a great weight cut, and even though there are definite stylistic challenges in front of him here tonight, told us on Thursday in the fighter meeting, skill for skill, I'm better to this than this guy everywhere, and I'm gonna prove it in a big way in front of this capacity crowd tonight. Eddie Alvarez, ready to make a statement here tonight. Tail of the tape now for this lightweight championship fight. Here once more is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC lightweight champion of the world, the underground king, Eddie Alvarez. Herb Dean is your referee. He's the third man in the octagon tonight. With no shortage of big wins to his credit, here is the underground king, Eddie Alvarez, became the lightweight champion by beating Rafael Dos Anjos in 2016. We'll see if Alvarez can get his 18th career win by knockout tonight. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Just inches away from landing one of those big right hands. All right, so we build this as a striker's delight and a good early sign for the boxer getting inside and landing that hook on the kickbox. Beautiful hook in close, staying tight so that the kickboxer is very limited with using his legs, but he can always land and turn on that beautiful hook. That's a big strike right there. Beautiful technique on the straight right hand. And another straight finds the target there by the Korean Super Bowl. Single. Alvarez is in half goal. Side control now. 
North-South position now. Perhaps the crowd will get its collective mind out of the gutter. And right into side control. Alvarez is looking for that arm triangle now. Ooh, arm triangle's in tight. It's getting in very tight. Oh, how good is that as he gets out? That is great submission defense, keeping everything short and not allowing the ball to get the submission victory. Nice counter right hook there. Just over three minutes to go. Oh, brilliant execution to land the roundhouse. Oh, good block there. Oh, as good a counter striker as there is in the game. Straight right is good. Liver kick. Alvarez gets tagged with a kick now. Let's see if he can rally. Straight right hand counter. Mike gets inside, gets the single collar tag here. Great job landing that body. Just missed with the left there. Oh, swept the leg beautifully to get the takedown. Mr. Miyagi would be very, very proud of that sweep. Great job getting into your position and finding that beautiful takedown. Alvarez is going for a choke here. Oh, that rear naked choke attempt is tight. Oh, he's out. He's work. I stand it up. He's work. Posture's up now. Oh, and delivers. Huge punch to the head there. Well, defense doesn't always win championships in MMA, but how about the submission defense tonight thwarting one attempt after the next? Yeah, and the fact that he's just constantly under attack tells you he was very prepared for the type of fighter that he was in front of. He knew there would be some submissions coming his way. He was ready to defend them, and he has done that beautifully. Alvarez is in half guard. There it is. Now he's going to mount. He's doing a really good job putting himself in position. Good work from the top here by Alvarez. Another one. I mean, he cannot miss from the top position. Well, he's got his back now. Thought about a choke, instead flattens him out. And now he's got a lot of options offensively, Jim. Yeah, he's got all the options available to him. Now he just has to get all that hip pressure into his opponent's back and just start raining down ground and pound. And if you're the bottom fighter, better start intelligently defending yourself. The ground strikes continue to pile up. Oh, nice right hand by the champ, yeah. All right, so some high-level stuff there on the ground, but as they make their way back to the feet, a huge response from the crowd, no surprise. Though. I loved it. I loved all the grappling that was on display there, but fight fans want to see striking, and that's exactly what they're going to get as he finally makes his way back to the That whole sounds means we have reached the end of round one. All right, a lot of tremendous striking action in that last round, DC. I know you don't have a telestrator, but take us through the replay. I mean, I would love to have my telestrator right now. That was a great display of high-level mixed martial arts striking. Both combatants stood toe-to-toe -to -toe and let it all hang out. You ready to fight? You ready? Go. All right, round two. Blistering combination there, really starting to do a nice job stringing the shots together. And you can see the damage in his opponent's body, his face, his body, his legs. He's beating him up on all the targets. It's not one guy just headhunting. He is finding every opening that is presented to him. It got checked. Closes the distance beautifully. He's got a single collar. Oh, the straight hand lands.
lands flush to the body by the Korean Super Bowl. Oh, nice. Man, everything he throws with fight ending intentions. Defense to block that punch. Oh, single collar tie here. And they separate after exiting the clinch. Right on the button. Oh, he lands another strike to the body. Really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Just over three minutes to go in round two. Misses with the left hook. Well, he has stayed busy and he has stayed accurate. Nice combination. Very accurate, a lot of activity in the hands. Look phenomenal tonight. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. The issue with that kick, as effective as it is, one gets checked out again in some situation. All right, well, he's had his striking on point tonight, and as evidence, some swelling now on his opponent. Yeah, light swelling right now. But if he doesn't address it immediately, it'll turn to something much worse. Yeah, that punch was blocked. Well, he's really starting to land a high number of strikes here in the second round. No denying that he has taken the message from his corner and picked up the pace here in round two. Just over two minutes to go. All right, so now we start to see some redness underneath the elbow. You gotta think he's gonna continue to attack the body with all of his strikes. Well, his opponent has not done anything to deter him. He should keep doing this, keep going to the well until his opponent finds an answer because right now, he seems lost to it. Oh, you can feel the breeze there. Swing and a miss by Alvarez. Let him go. Time to let those hands go. Good work, guys. Come on. Oh, he lands another pinpoint strike there and no surprise to see the swelling upstairs get worse. That accuracy, man, it's something to behold. This guy is so good at finding his target. Now, he's got a big old marker on the guy's face to try and hit. You have got a smart fight in front of you. You have got to move your head. Or he's going to keep it. Big shots being landed on both sides here. It's a different round and the striking clinic continues. Shades of Max Holloway back in the day against Calvin Cater. Every strike he has thrown seeing you is not I mean, it's, it's landing. Everything is landing, J.A. And coming into this fight, he understood that he had an advantage in this particular skill. I don't know if he could have even expected it to be this vast as we have seen to this point in the fight. Choi's got a bruise now starting to appear on the right side of his body. Nice one-two combination there. 30 seconds now to go in the round. Oh! Pretty good position here with the single collar in the clinch. Alvarez's nose is bleeding now. Yes, looks as though he got cut by one of those offerings from his opponent. Strong defense here as the hook to the head is blocked. So there's the end of the round. You see the blood trickling down as he makes his way back to the stool. Cut on the bridge of the nose, or so it appears from the strike in that round. Cut man getting right to work. No wrestling, no jujitsu, just striking. All right, back to the stool, and he is officially swole. And I'm not talking about muscles. He is <laughs> swollen up top. I mean, he looks bad. It's because he was too stationary. He was on the receiving end of too many big shots. He was beat up, he was battered, he was bruised. And look at all the swelling. It shows that he has taken far too many. You ready to fight? Ready. Go. All right, here we go with this third round of this championship fight. 
All right, so next round underway here, and you got to admire the stamina that both of these guys still exuded towards the end of that round. Both men put a particular focus on their cardiovascular commitment in this training camp, and it's clearly paid dividends here tonight. We have two legitimately fresh fighters here as we hit this next round. Well, just as he did the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes, and a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. Oh, he passes the half guard now, and he's not posturing the land punches, so look for a submission attempt. Beautiful transition. He's got that arm triangle. Watch him pass to the opposite side. It looks real tight. He'll drop his weight to try to finish his technique. How in the world did he escape that submission? And he's able to work his way back to his feet. Just out of range with that right hook. So he earned respect from his opponent early on with the power, and now the swelling really started to become a factor, Jim. The swelling started to become a factor. This guy is so good at recognizing a weakness in his opponent. He got him hurt, he got him swollen a little bit, and now it's starting to pay dividends. Well, you thought the cut man did his job, but that cut on the nose is just nasty, and it is pouring blood now. His misses are entertaining. Under three minutes to go in our third round. Oh, nice jab to the head there by Choi. I don't know how many times he hit in the head and stay in this fight. Alvarez is blocking well now. You see the fighter raise the guard to protect that obviously damaged nose. Well, it's all pace and pressure down the stretch. He is really lighting him up now. Oh, man. I mean, how much can one man take? He certainly doesn't look like he did when he walked out here just a few moments ago. He's almost unrecognizable. He's been hit so many times in the face. The swelling started early. We spoke about trying to defend him. We spoke about making adjustments. He didn't, and now he finds himself here. Just misses with the jab there. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Alvarez's cut is getting worse. The cut man chopping at the bit to get in there. He'll have to wait for the break between rounds if we get there. A lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. Alvarez is able to make a nice transition there back into side control. Oh, well, doing his able best to avoid the ground and pound here. Nice job by the Korean Super Bowl. Oh, what do we got here? Looks like an arm triangle attack. Oh, that looks tight to me. It looks like it might be locked in. Yeah, it looks like it's done. It looks like it's done. Oh, oh man, that was slick. Alvarez's torso, specifically that right side, has absorbed a lot of damage to the... Oh, he's got his back. Under a minute now to go in the round. Alvarez is back in full mount. You have to be so well rounded once you get to the top of these divisions. You cannot just be a knockout guy. You gotta be able to change it up if you find yourself in this situation that he's in right now. Both guys appear to land there. Oh, and he continues to pour it on. We mentioned earlier the aggression with his striking. Gotta be careful to not gas out here, but at least you have to admire the approach. I might let you kick the inside of my leg after the show. No. See how that feels. You don't want that, J.A. You do not want that. No one wants that. Even trained professional fighters right. can't take too many of those strikes. That's three rounds. We're now headed to the championship round.
All right, so the fighters head back to the stools, and hopefully this fight can continue. That is a severe cut. We'll see if the cut man can do some good work here. All right, so now we have some real adversity. There's a cut on the nose. Hard to know if that's impacting the breathing, but some definite damage in that previous round. Yeah, some real damage. And now when you get a cut like that, that is in a bad spot. Because every time you get hit on the nose, it's so jarring. And then the blood starts to go down into the mouth. He's got an uphill battle ahead of him. You ready to fight? Ready. Good. Fourth round, fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. All right, fourth round is now underway as we get to the championship rounds. What is a fighter's mindset when you get to this 16th minute? This is when you understand that nothing is ever going to be hard. This is the hardest round in fighting. This is going to really test your will and your desire to be champion. Oh, he gets tagged again. Nice combination. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with... Oh, he slams his opponent to the canvas. I think the octagon is shaking. The octagon was shaking. Somebody secure the doors <laughs> because they are going to blow the roof off of this place. Alvarez's cut on his nose does not look good. Actually, it looks really bad. You got to think the ringside position is going to get called in here in a moment. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively, protecting his head, raising the guard, and really frustrating the offensive fighter a little bit. Lesson one in boxing class, hands up, chin down. And that one certainly found the target. Four strikes to the head. He's back in the clinch. Chins on them. Huge shots being landed on both sides. Well, he keeps going back to the well with that left hand just out of range. Go after the cut. End this fight. Well, you didn't see a lot of the body work from him in the earlier rounds, but he's certainly getting after it here. Big shot to the body connects there. We'll see if he can follow it up. Alvarez is a bloody mess right now. I wouldn't be surprised to see this fight stop. At the very least, you gotta think they're calling in the ringside position between rounds. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Unable to land with that punch. All right, so a good job by him here. He continues to block these shots. Seems to see them coming a mile away. He sees them coming a mile away, and he's blocking, he's rolling, he's slipping. He's doing a great job. Alvarez gets lit up by that straight punch. All right, so a seminal blow earlier in the round. It wasn't a knockdown, but it was certainly a stunner that caught his attention. Oh, I mean, he got hurt bad. To see him still standing, that just goes to the toughness that he has to be still standing after taking such a damaging shot. Nice head kick gets through. He does everything so well, and he's so calm. He's so calm in the face of such a big spot. Under two minutes here to go round four. All right, so that is too much, too much. I mean, I'm not sure I need to see the spider absorb any further damage here tonight. It's okay if his corner or the ringside position calls a stop to this thing. He has been battered, he has been beaten, and the result is not going to change. That was Ooh, looking to go to the leg kick here, just out of range. Now some separation from his clinch position. Left punch followed by a right. Nice one-two there by Eddie Alvarez. Well, you hear that crowd. Oh! He's hurt bad. Needs a big knee. Swift's on the elbow. Well, not much of a setup there. Misses with the left hook. Oh, and he tags him with the straight hand there. Beautifully done by Alvarez. Grips the body there. Alvarez gets 
hit again to the body. He's got to figure out a way to lower up that defense. Good punch lands. Jab there by the champion. Final seconds here. Nose has got to be broken. I mean, there is no stopping that blood at this point in time. And ringside physician probably going to come in and take a look. We'll see. All right, the truck has produced some replays from that previous round. Perhaps we can even isolate the strike that opened up that cut on the bridge of his nose. It's nasty, and it's in a bad spot because the reality is when you can't breathe through your nose, you start to open your mouth. But the blood is dripping down into your mouth. How is he going to breathe in order to have a chance to win this fight? You ready to fight? Ready. Go. We have arrived at this fifth and final round. Oh, nice jab by Alex. being applied here. In the half guard. Oh, another strike hits right on that cut. Ringside position might have to intervene soon. Let's go. He's got to be careful here. Oh, this could be over soon. Yes, yeah, smart adjustment, yep. Trying to guard pass here, not today. No, it ain't happening. Good job understanding the transition. Oh, guillotine choke would appear to be locked in. Yes, it is. That is tight. You better protect your neck when you fight this guy because he's got the guillotine locked in. But if he wants to finish, he's got to lock that guard. Oh, somebody gets out. Fantastic submission, D. Versus the position there. Nice transition by the underground king. Oh, right into Mount. Joy getting peppered here from the top. He's got to figure out a way to cover up. This is a terrible position. Oh, now looking to posture up, and he lands a big head strike. Nicely done there by Alvarez. All right, he's got side control here, DC. You know, he's got a lot of different submissions in his arsenal once this fight gets to the ground. Alvarez is back inside control here. Mm, that was nice. All right, well, he's got him softened up here. Well, you see all the grappling repetitions here. Just beautiful movement, seamless transitions on the ground. Over and over, these guys are doing things that you see in every jiu-jitsu gym around the country. Lands with the ground and pound here. Oh, he's got to be careful there, yep. Man, he's killing it on the ground. Another strike gets through. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Now drops inside that close guard, DC. Full guard. Let's see how patient he is as he attacks a submission or big ground and pound. Not there yet, but might get the submission here shortly. Well, working pretty effectively from the top here. Nice ground and pound by Alvarez. He's got to find a way to finish this fight. Always be closing. Busy in the clinch here. The punch is good. 90 seconds to go in the fight. Come on, it's worse. Beautiful jab lands. 
Nice job defensively there. Good work with the hips. Beautiful job getting those hands up. Well, straight right hand has been a good weapon for him. He misses with it there. And now they're throwing both sides with conviction. Let's take a look back at the replay. It ends up a knockout, but this was really a striking clinic from the moment they touched blood. I mean, a competitive fight that one guy finally found the shot that ended the fight. But both of these warriors displayed a ton of heart. One guy got the finish, but neither guy should be disappointed in their performance. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, three seconds of round number five. Declaring the winner by knockout and new UFC lightweight champion of the world, the Korean Super Bowl, Du Ho Chong. So the Korean Superboy, Do Ho Choi, with another highlight for the reel tonight. That reel's getting pretty crowded. Crazy to think this guy is just getting started. Maybe a few years removed from his fighting prime.